Welcome to our lesson, where we will be discussing various secondary research methods, their advantages and their disadvantages. Here, we will focus on a number of popular methods, books and journals, internet sites and research, magazines and newspapers and television. Let's dive in. First, let's discuss books and journals. These resources often contain well-researched, peer-reviewed and in-depth information on a wide range of topics. Advantages include that published materials tend to be more reliable than online research as it is typically produced by trustworthy sources. Disadvantages include that it can be difficult to find the exact information you need for your specific purposes and circumstances. And books can become out of date and aren't easily updated without publishing new editions. Next, let's talk about internet sites and research. The internet offers a vast array of information, making it easy to find data on almost any topic. Advantages include that online information is typically freely available, and so this is a very cost-effective method of market research. Even paid online sources will be cheaper than doing the research yourself. The data is already gathered and is accessible very easily for anyone with an internet connection. Search tools make it even easier to find what you need. And there is a huge amount of information available online, so you're more likely to find the information you need than other secondary sources. Disadvantages include that online information may not be accurate or timely, and so is not typically reliable. Fact-checking is an important task to ensure what you have gathered is true. Magazines and newspapers are another source of secondary research data. They can provide insights into current events, trends, and public opinion. Advantages include that newspaper reporters often report truthful, honest, and hard-hitting research data. Fact-checking is expected, and so this can be more reliable. The journalist who writes the article may be a first-hand witness of an event, and so while this may be a secondary source, it is closer to primary than others. And newspapers and magazines are dated, so you can be sure that information is current and up-to-date information on recent news and events. Disadvantages include that newspapers and magazines can exaggerate data for effect, so it's hard to spot truthful and exaggerated articles. And the journalist's personal opinion can be biased and therefore cause the news article to not be an accurate data source. Lastly, television can also serve as a source of secondary research data. Documentaries, news programs, and interviews can provide useful insights. Advantages include that there is a comprehensive source of research on various topics and many television programs available to watch. There are many documentaries created by industry professionals that provide accurate information that is extremely reliable. And it is easy to watch and understand the information on television. Disadvantages include that there may be expensive costs to pay for television, TV license and streaming services in order to access this information and information from television can be biased and opinionated, so it may not provide accurate data. In conclusion, secondary research methods such as books and journals, internet sites and research, magazines and newspapers and television each have their pros and cons. The key is to utilize a combination of these resources to gather diverse perspectives and reliable information to strengthen your research. Always be mindful of potential biases and the credibility of your sources to ensure the accuracy of your findings.